Hey guys, this is a, I can't remember if this is the first time I've done this, but I'm sort of into like social experiments and stuff, but I'm completely unmotivated, completely unmotivated to make this video. Not that I'm in a rut again, or I have some sort of writer's block. I mean, I've uploaded like five videos in the last five or six days, but I was saying the last week, um, I'm not like having writer's block. My, most of my videos have nothing to do with writing anyways. It's, it's usually just streamed out of my brain. It's like a rant or whatever. Uh, so there, there can never really be a such thing as writer's block for me. I mean, I might retouch on certain, um, subjects, but, uh, it's going to be with like new ideas, thoughts, or information. I, I do sort of repeat a lot of my old ideas and theories, but they relate to usually to what I'm talking about. That's current now. Um, I, there are was a few things I wrote down that I do want to go over, but to me, that is scripted, even though it's not complete script. I'm not writing down everything I'm talking about. It, even if it might just be one line. What did I write? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Like about this reality being scripted or whatever. Uh, ways to prove that this is all scripted, not just the simulation, but us as well. Um, but anyways, that I... If I look at my notes, even though it's just one word, I could go on and on and on about it, but I still have notes. Uh, so the notes themselves motivate me to speak. But I wanted to get on here and just sort of rant about how I feel lately with no motivation. And just kind of see how it came out. But I'm guessing it's going to come out like how most of my videos come out. I'm just not driven by the energy telling me to, you know, make the video now, whatever that is. Or whatever it is that's driving me. Um... It's so w w there was something I was thinking about right before I made the video and I kind of wanted to talk about that, I guess, but I lost my train of thought on that. It actually works out good because then, then it's like clean slate, no motivation. Let's see how the video comes out. So how do I feel lately? Or first, actually, let's, uh, let's do this. Um, I love you guys. And if I can keep it a loving environment, then it'll be an environment where no mind parasite or mind entity can intrude with stupid thoughts or intrusive thoughts to get the conversation to manipulate my stream of thoughts to go in a way that it wants instead of a way that I want. I'm fully aware, and you guys should be too, that even I deal with the mind virus. Uh, so take everything I say with a grain of salt too. Um, but I, I'm going to show you guys or show you guys, like, I'll talk to you guys about how none of this shit really matters. <laughs> Anyways, it's almost like we're participating in a play. It's like a, it's almost like a massively multiplayer simulation where you take on the existence of something else. Like, instead of, it's still you playing the game, it's kind of like you becoming somebody else's game and participating in it. Uh, in a weird way. It's sometimes the human experience feels that way. I mean, why why are humans conflicted? That doesn't make any sense. They should be exactly content and happy right where they're at because they're always going to be them and they have no internal conflict. What's wrong with being you? Uh, but most humans are conflicted. But anyways, I'll, <clears throat> I'll get into that because that's a part of that or whatever, the notes. Um Oh, yeah, let's get rid of all negativity bullshit. So uh, by the power I have, Christopher Sedaris, I hereby denounce and dispel all negative spells, uh, spiritual attacks, technological attacks, physical attacks, um, entity attacks, uh, extraterrestrial attacks, extra dimensional attacks. I hereby denounce all contracts made by me or others watching this unbeknownst to them i hereby denounce all contracts made in spirit all technological contracts all physical contracts i hereby denounce all negativity from this channel this avatar christopher sedaris and anybody else watching this that wants what i'm talking about I denounce all that stupid shit. And as a matter of fact, if you're a negative technology being used against me slash us, I, I hereby reflect that damage tenfold back to its original uh, creators and casters and abusers. I hereby reflect that spell. Uh, <clears throat> and 
that goes for all shapes and sizes of attacks. Again, whether it's physical, spiritual, technological, I don't care. All attacks on me and those like me, those watching this, uh, will be reflected back to their original attackers tenfold. And all those connected to and aware of attacks, it will be reflected back tenfold. Everybody wants to talk about spells. Do you guys feel protected? That's a protection spell. At least in my book it is. When we want to talk about magic, let's 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 do it then. Let's do it then. Nobody's still I still haven't gotten a spell yet. I still haven't gotten a practical magic spell. I'm, I guarantee you I'm gonna get five or ten role players that are gonna give me like a very deep, complicated, mysterious, ultimately mysterious. I'm, I'm gonna walk away just as confused as I did. When I walked in the con, I, I guarantee you if I was, if I had a large channel, I'd have 10,000 people saying some pretty mysterious shit that really just leaves me confused. You don't, you just don't understand magic or uh, it's like, dude, can you just explain it to me then? Like, just tell me what the fuck to do, motherfucker. Oh, it's much deep. Oh, here we go, bro. Like, dude, just get away from me, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's always mysterious, isn't it? It's always mysterious every time. You could read Aleister Crowley books and boo boo. And he talks about energy trade from what I've heard. Again, I never read Aleister Crowley, but I've heard some of the things he said, some of the quotes out of his book. He talks about how children are a very potent energy. I actually agree with all that. I, I don't know exactly what he was talking about. I don't know if he was talking about tormenting kids. Uh, I think that's how people related to his information, but um, they definitely are. <laughs> like children are extremely powerful fucking uh, creatures. You're just programmed to take care of a baby in need? Are you just programmed to take care of a baby in need? That thing's casting spells on your ass. <laughs> they're a lot more powerful. Um, I think we are. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, we There's certain things, like a, the sound of a baby crying had to sound like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it literally could drive you crazy. So it makes you take care of that baby. <laughs> like, you give it its bottle, you change its diaper. Like, we are very... <clears throat> That's what I say. Like, I, I always say, but all I'll say is like some just sort of dumb sound shit. Like, we're pre-programmed to fuck up at this shit. I'll say something like that. But it's like, it's way deeper what I'm meaning when I say that. It's like, uh, you guys don't really like what, what, what you guys probably do, but we're extremely programmed to fuck up at this matrix. Like, we're, I mean, I don't explain it. Like, I, I, well, I, I try to explain it every day, but. Um. Think about like the most evilest thing you could do. Let's say you were an anti nihilist and um, you're living in the post destroyed world or something, and you came across a baby crying. And you could see people around a baby, maybe his mom and dad were gone. The most evil thing you could do is walk away from that baby and leave it there. That's literally the most e thing that we are pre programmed, pre scripted to feel these ways about babies, to protect babies, to protect females, especially as a man. I don't know if it's, again, I can't talk from both sexes. I can only talk from mine, but I'm pretty sure women are super pre programmed <laughs> to take, even if it's not their baby. If a woman came across a baby, uh, unless she's a total psychopath, like there, and there are, women like that or whatever there's women that leave babies in dumpsters and shit but you know what i'm saying like the the average normal human being not a fucking psychopath that should be hanging out in a goddamn barnyard prison cell with fucking jeffrey dahmer but uh a normal woman would come across a base she would not be able to leave that so there's a we are pre-programmed to keep life going uh i would not walk away from the baby either i'm not saying that i'm saying that when you think about it, though it's it's literally the most horror. That's the most horrible thing you could do in that situation or in, in life almost like walk away from a helpless baby. Tell me something's more evil than that. What's more evil than leaving a babe, walking away from a baby, knowing the baby's going to die. What's more evil than that? There is nothing more evil than that. Guys, just so you know, there's nothing more evil than that. And we're in a baby that fucking devours babies. Just so you know. I don't mean to be the spreader of negativity, but 
I, I can't remember the number, six or 800,000 go missing every fucking year. A lot of that's kids. It's just like, what is this realm doing to our children? What is going on with our kids? Guys, there are people, and I know this sounds totally evil and demonic. There are people in this realm that literally look at you as a farm. They don't give two shits. They don't believe in the same God you give a fuck about. They actually will use things like God and religion against you to control you, to manipulate manipulate you. They literally look at you as a resource. That's all you are to them. And they're extremely powerful. These people I'm talking about. Totally demonic. Totally demonic. <laughs> totally just well, well, would run a ring of uh, organ harvesting uh, to make money off people like cattle. Will actually implement, if you really want to get deep into the cult's weird, bizarre behaviors, will actually implement laws where they take young people's organs super quick without really trying all that diff that hard to save that person's life because they were on the donor list and well them kidneys are worth ching cha ching them there's that liver cha ching there's that heart cha ching cha ching throw that bitch on ice 200 you guys think does it sound too evil that's so morbid there's no way there's people like that how much do you have to see in committee what you think do you guys you can see evil everywhere you you don't think that Evil can end up in a doctor's gown or a, a politician's suit or a... If you believe that, you are extremely naive. Evil's not stupid. Evil's still human. Humans are intelligent. They're very manipulative, deceptive if they need to be, blah, blah, blah. You guys don't think evil can get into a high place? How many times do you guys see that? Like, how many politicians have to be arrested for shit that's totally evil? They were doing child abuse and blah, 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 like rings of it, like literally, literally politicians. There's that video where it's like, is this the NBA or, or the uh, NFL? And they start listing off all the crimes committed. You know, 163 of them wrote bad checks. Uh, 57 of them have been arrested on felony charges. 27, and you're sitting there going, oh, is that basketball or football? And then at the end, they go, no, that's the U.S. Congress, current U.S. Congress. It's like, holy shit. These people are totally demonic, evil, fucking mafioso criminals. Like, what do you need to see? They look at you as meat cattle that they can make money off. There's literally people in our realm coexisting with us, doing that to us. You could say, well, that's a part of humanity. I'd say that's a, a cancerous part of humanity that needs to be fucking surgically removed and fucking ripped out. But, uh, oh, yeah, I could rant any. I don't need inspiration. Like, honestly, if I just, uh, streaming would be super easy for me. And if I had comments to talk to, uh, I could stream all fucking day. What should I stream on? Like, what are the popular things where conspiracy theorists can talk? Like, you know what I'm saying? The most freedom th sites to stream on. Do you guys know anything about any of that? I mean, I have to look into it without any help. But if you guys know anything about that, let me know in the comments. But um, so, yeah, I'm just, dude, it's like, what's weird actually is lately I've been feeling a lot better. I don't know if that's like a hormone thing. I've been taking... Um, a few new supplements. Uh, what do I even tell? Oh, yeah, zinc, potassium. Um, zinc, potassium, and uh, what the fuck was the other one There's uh, that she recommended? Oh, um, maca, I think. Maca, or I, I can't remember, but I'll, I'll let you guys know. But if, if it's, I usually like, do let you guys know. Like, I, I sort of not experiment, like, I look into healthy stuff, I find out what. Really, I look at it like this, like, what are we probably deficient in eating the American diet? And it's like, obviously, thiamine B1 is super important. Um, like, you could take all the other, that's like the trace. You could take all the other Bs all day, it don't matter. You're not going to absorb them without B1, and you're super deficient in B1 if you eat an American diet, if you eat carbs, if you eat a, if you drink coffee every morning. Um, sometimes my lips get, like, so dried out, they get stuck, <laughs> like... 
fucking <laughs> like talking like a <laughs> dry ass fucking lips. <clears throat> Probably uh, turning into my lizard form. And, mm, fucking, bleh, next thing you know, I'll be fucking spitting out fucking, uh, I don't know, uh, cobra venom or something. It'd be cool. Like, honestly, if, if I did get some extra abilities, like if I could turn it, if I turn it a nightcrawler, guess, guess, uh, guess who would be fixing humanity like overnight? <laughs> They don't want to give me no power like that. Not in this fucking reality. You kidding me? If I had the ability to and appear next to one of these fucking demons and reach out and grab them and appear fucking a mile up in the sky in some random place I chose, I'll go right above a volcano just to make it exciting. Goodbye. I'll talk shit to that motherfucker while we're both falling. I'll be looking at him going, you did you enjoy being a fucking demon in that reality, you little fucking pathetic monster? Did you enjoy it, boy? Fuck you! And I would disappear and he'd fall in fucking lava. Fuck him. Anyways. Yeah. The, don't give don't give the good people in the realm any power. Give the demons power all the time. Yay, that's a good idea. Brr, fucking. Uh, who's in control of this realm? I don't know. The evil bastards that we should execute? We're too busy being naive and not thinking such a thing's possible. I, I don't think. Again, I think I'm talking about an old mind state at this point. But. Again, I'm so unplugged from the Matrix, I watch nothing to do with the Matrix. I actually don't even watch the stuff that used to interest me. Like, I haven't watched the UFC in probably like three months. I just lost interest in even in that. I just, I'm super unplugged from the Matrix. And the only people that I really communicate with um, are conscious individuals or people that are watching my channel. So I'm super unplugged. So it's, Oh, I'm thinking of an old mindset. I don't know. I think I'm still talking about something that's happening now. Maybe I'm just thinking it feels old to me because I no longer participate in the Matrix uh, for years now. I just feel so disconnected. I would say that like sometimes I just feel like uh, I'm out on the edge of the universe all by myself. Uh, or, with, or again, with a very, very, very small hand, like small, small handful of drifters. Like We bump into each other like every fucking hundred years out in the void it's so expansive and there's so few of us just i just feel like um in a re re world of my own and, and to a degree we all are uh, but i feel like i'm super alone i i didn't feel this alone back when i was ignorant and i was plugged into the matrix even when i was like idolizing like looking at certain artists i never like got super obsessed but i went from liking certain artists to then you know the next popular artists and you know I was a huge fan of uh whatever was popular at the time and I, I always felt connected to people truth is I was completely plugged into the machine the message I was listening to was totally demonic and evil um but I definitely felt connected like I felt like I was with that energy that was passing through the realm at that time uh, I, I think we get older. I think we can still tap into that energy I'm talking about. But these things are pumped into reality. This is a very scripted reality. Uh, I don't know. There's. I noticed this back when I was a kid. It was like um, <clears throat> certain. And this is, guys, this is way before the internet. This was like when there was like five or six popular, super popular channels, like where you got your information, where everybody kind of tuned in, you know. Uh, something popular happened on MTV. Everybody knew about it. There was really just one social media. It was what we were shown. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was uh, it was different back then. But, ah, oh, shit, I lost my train of thought. There was a point that I had to make. One sec, guys. Yeah, guys. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is something I noticed when I was a young kid, teen, whatever. Where did the, a lot of the slang terms would just pop in? And it, they were being used, like, basically nationwide. Uh, and then because, you know, America was so influential, that would become worldwide and some pop culture would move on. it. But it was really like an American thing. It was just like certain words would become popular, like whack or uh, swag or, you know, like. And I, But as a teen, it was like, where did you guys learn that these words? Why is everybody all of a sudden using this word? Like, what? popular culture event that I missed where somebody said swag and the crowd cheered and we're all like, that's the new cool word. And then the next day everyone was saying like, there was never an event. It was just 
like this word moved into the consciousness of the reality out of nowhere. It was like, what happened with y'all? Again, there wasn't social media. It wasn't back then. It wasn't like, oh, well, this person just knew about some little niche of reality. It's like everybody's saying it now. This would have been so popular. It would have been on like ABC News or something. Like, how come everybody all of a sudden is saying these certain slang words? And there was always a new one. And then that, that one would get corny. And we'd move on to a new one and to a new one and to a new one. It was like the whole realm somehow or the whole nation, I guess, would like agree out of nowhere, like there was like this unwritten contract somewhere where, okay, now we're using this cool word or I'm trying to remember more of them, but I just can't think of them off the top of my head. I guess you can say like, well, they, they, those, well, there was, there's gotta be more examples of what I just said, but you guys know what I'm saying. It's just like, how did they come into reality? Uh, there was nothing that happened. And then all of a sudden everyone was using them. I don't know. I mean, but it was, I, I clearly remember that as a kid thinking, that's weird. Where, where's everybody learning this shit? Where's this, where is this popular culture event happening? They gave everybody a fucking word that I'm unaware of because I watch all the popular shit. I watched, back then I watched MTV. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I watched everything that was popular. Not to mention a lot of stuff on TV back then really didn't use slang terms and stuff. I mean, it wasn't like, you were watching Family Matters or Full House and like they were using cool slang, current slang terms. But I do remember them just like coming into the conscience of reality out of nowhere. I was like, okay, I guess everyone uses this word now. But um, I guess there's an argument there for simulated reality. Uh, there's a lot of arguments for simulated reality. If you just honestly looked at your own personal existence, your own personal experience, you would see you are also completely uh, scripted and it's so difficult to not be you that you become conflicted when you try to break the script of being you. Why am I unmotivated? Why am I lazy? Why am I, why do I procrastinate? Why do I do all these things? Who's saying that motherfucker? Do you not have control of your own brain and avatar? You, but you're telling me that in this, any psychologist in the reality that's ever had this, well, had a trillion of these conversations, why is the individual conflicted with themselves? That makes no sense. Unless themselves is a sort of scripted type creature with scripted type behaviors and habits and urges and, uh, and then they as the participant of the scripted creature don't agree with the scripted creature's behavior yet can't break the scripts themselves as the one that's supposedly in control of said avatar isn't that weird how's that happen happens every second of every day most humans walk around conflicted most humans are in their own heads conflicted and stress and worry and depression and fear and blah 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 and you say well the matrix does all this and it's like well yeah but it does all this because we are that way though we are that way. That's how we're pre-programmed. That's why it works on us. That's why they do it this way. Like if it didn't work, they wouldn't be doing it that way. But uh, we are that way, though. We uh, we're sort of like multi-entity beings. I mean, again, if you're sitting there and a negative thought enters your mind that you recognize as a thought, you and if it is you, you just don't agree with it no more. And you want it to stop. Let's say uh, I don't think that these thoughts are us. Uh, I'm not abusive. I don't. Uh, Think that way, talk that way, behave that way. But my internal voice sometimes is, is abusive. It just puts me in a negative, low, uh, lower, um, what's it called? Like self-worth state, pretty much. A lower self-worth state. That's it. Like, a, it just never has anything nice to say. It's like, that's weird. Because if you put me in a room with every uh, whole group of people, I ain't got nothing but nice shit to say to everybody. So why, who, who's the voice? Am I saying all this negative shit? Again, could be a technology. Again, I don't know. I'm just trying to tell you guys. And maybe that's what's going on. Maybe that's why <clears throat> people are conflicted because their behavior is literally scripted in the matrix. That's a technology being used against us. And maybe that's why we feel conflicted. That could be happening too. Uh, because I'm sitting there saying this is a simulated reality. Well, if it was a technology being used on us and controlling our behaviors and maneuvers and blah, blah, blah in the realm, that's how we would perceive it. It would feel like a simulated reality. Why am I in conflict? Why do I have these thoughts? Why do I do? 
Why do I? Well, who's the one complaining about it? And if you don't have control of your brain or thoughts and you're conflicted, uh, who's doing it to you? Don't, do you feel like you're being abused by your own mind? I thought the mind worked for you. I thought the mind worked. I thought that was your brain in your head. I mean, that's what they tell us anyways. Yet we feel like we're participating in an environment with another creature that's conflicted or going against what we want or believe or are okay with or the way we would think. Uh, but this something I always want. It's like a very, again, it's something I'll say. And it's just way deeper in my mind. I'm just saying some dumb shit, though. Uh, where does motivation come from? But when I'm saying I'm, somebody might hear that and go, I don't know. But they don't, they're not thinking about what really thinking. And maybe it's sort of not my fault. But I, I don't explain it more deeply like I'm doing now. Like, what do I mean? Like, where does urges motivate? Because these are the things that drive us. If this, if this reality is a simulation, the things that drive our characters are, all right, let me, uh, let me, let me read all this real quick. Cause it's just a couple words. So I put motivation, drive urges, self improvement proves a scripted life path. As we struggle to be us scripted reality, self improvement. What does that mean? Why aren't you, first off, why aren't you happy with who you are now? Because that would be the fastest way for you to improve yourself is to just be okay with who you are now. First off, uh, Let's get the logic out of the way and go into emotions. Why are you being that way? What is the point of being that way? Um, a lot of urges. <clears throat> I just read the fucking thing. Uh, drives and motivation. Man, I'm just super motivated. Well, where does motivation come from? Nobody can answer that question. But these are the unseen forces that drive our characters. If we were in a simulation and our life was scripted and things just worked out for us all the time, but we couldn't explain to you how that happened, our lives are scripted. Uh, okay, how, how can I explain this more? Is um, If I'm going, of course, uh, um, that weed whacker shouldn't be too loud on video, hopefully not. But um, I mean, the, the, the distract. If if I stopped for every distraction, guys, I literally would not be able to make a video. I literally, would, I'm actually surprised I've gotten this far in without the phone ringing yet. But uh, give me one sec. Yeah, like what is self improvement? Like just be good with who you are now. And <clears throat> if you need to improve you, um, how can I explain this? Okay, so who is the you that you're improving? Who is the you that you're improving if it's you sitting there saying, I want to make myself a better person? If you are yourself, then you're already the better person. But if you're, what you're really saying is, I want to break the scripts of the avatar that the physical avatar that the spirit doesn't agree with. Uh, so you're the spirit in the physical avatar, but this like free will idea we have and all this, I don't think it works that way. I think we're sort of participating in a very, 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 very scripted creature, scripted reality uh, as a sole participant. We can kind of sway the behaviors of the avatar, but we can't control its motivations, its urges, it's uh, any of that. We don't control that. There's some unseen force that controls that. If I was motivated to become a billionaire child sniffer, where did that evil motivation come from? Where does it come from? Uh, we are driven by, like if this was a video game or a simulation and other entities are playing the game, the way we would experience the up, down, left, right, A, B, of the video game would be through urges, motivations. Uh, so what what are these things? Where do they come from? The whole reality is scripted. Um, and we do this with our brains. 
I, uh, this was a, a question in the last video of, of depersonal depersonalization. Uh, I've thought about this a lot. I've thought about doing experiments with this. Uh, if I said that I was completely unworried, I'd be lying, but I'm sort of like 2% worried. Again, I feel pretty solid in my ability to be who I am. I don't feel like I would lose myself. Uh, but if I did, it would be a very interesting experience. Uh, this is something Charles Manson did. This is something they, so Charles Manson and his buddies would sit there and pretend. I think Charles Manson's character's name was John Jones and he drove a pickup truck from Alabama or something like that. And uh, he would, Alabama, or, I don't know, Mississippi, I don't know, like some one, like, I don't know. But, and he said uh, that they would take on roles, like they would take acid for fun, but then they sort of started taking on, this is role playing. Or, what's it called? Uh, actors do this, where they play the role all the time. Uh, Daniel Day Lewis does this. Uh, Heath Ledger did this for the Joker. It's, um, but they play that character even when the cameras are off. Uh, method actor, method actors do this. Don't method actors always end up struggling? <laughs> like they end up having to leave acting. Like it's not always about the part, the weird mansion parties, the baby You're like, if you method act long enough, like Charles Manson did, like Jim Carrey did, um, you can enter a state of losing. You can actually do this with hallucinogens too. People, some call, some people call it ego death, but really you lose you. You lose the character that you created that you think is you. You're like, whoa, that's not me. That's not the way I think. Who am I? Who am I then? Uh, you can enter that state by method acting long enough. If you lose the character, this is something Charles Manson said was that they played these roles for so long and it got to the point where it's like, well, who the fuck am I? And what do I believe? And that's really where Charles, I guess you could say, lost his mind. Uh, before that, he was just a typical criminal hobo that grew up with a, like a basically a drug addicted mom. Um, he was a self identifying hobo, uh, but he, he had a really rough up, upbringing too. Like that made mine, uh, well, mine and his were probably relatable. But anyways. Let's have a dick measuring contest. Who got fucked up worse as a kid? But uh, anyways, this reality seems super scripted. We seem super scripted. We'll sit down across from a stranger and ask them, what's wrong with me? It's like, it's a great question. Did you ask yourself? And if you ask yourself, what's wrong with me and didn't get an answer back? Well, what's wrong? You're the you just you're just in a wrong state. You're in a wrong state. No, no, something's wrong with me. I overeat. I overdrink. That's you, though. So what's wrong with you? Well, I'm trying to lose weight, but I can't. That's where it starts to get weird. It's like, okay, so who's in control of you? Are you driven more by what you want, or are you driven more by the urges that control you? Where do these urges come from? They're sort of broadcasted in like a radio frequency, and it manipulates our behaviors and maneuvers and all that in the realm. All the mind virus has to do is find somebody that would literally sell their soul, body, and spirit for whatever they want in this reality. You don't think that there's a, you think that there's some shortage of degenerates that would take that offer in this split second, like I'm saying it? There may even be people watching my channel right now that would take that offer. Uh, I can't imagine that. I can't imagine selling your soul. Like, well, fuck you mean? Well, what happens to me? <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? like that makes no sense. I can. What deal could somebody give you? But when you see what people are capable of, it's not that hard to believe. There's probably a whole line of motherfuckers. The mind virus has just waiting in line to be the next uh, piece of shit degenerate to drag the human race down. I say we should just start finding these fucking people and getting rid of them. But. <clears throat> I say that good people need to infiltrate the CIA and expose it for actually being on the demons team. I think good people should infiltrate the FBI and expose it for being another arm or branch or aspect of the demon machine. I think good people need to get on the teams 
that have the capability of doing something about this shit and then doing something about this shit. And if we have to completely infiltrate the FBI, the CIA, to get into this demon's fucking headquarters to get rid of it, then that's what we need to do. If we need to use technologies that watch our every move, so they're all being used against us. If we turn them around and use them back on the same demons that are doing all this shit to us, I'm sure they live in houses where none of these smart TVs exist. <laughs> they probably use old school fucking tube TVs or something. I mean, who knows? They probably know about the technologies being used against us, but uh, one sec, guys, I have to see the time. I still got a minute. But, uh, yeah, that's what's, uh, how I'm feeling today. How do you guys feel on the fucking dookie boy realm? Uh, do you guys have anything good in life? Like, um, it's a tough realm. Again, it's it's sort of ingenious in a way. If if this is hell, let's say, like if we were souls that needed to be punished and some God head thing threw us into hell, you could say in a weird way that this is a hell, but it was manufactured in such a way that if you're unaware that it's hell, you don't even notice it's hell. You can do your whole bid, your whole prison sentence here in hell and not know it's hell. That's actually a very loving God to do that. Like to make even the most punished place the fucking <laughs> like this is hell. Like this reality is absolutely hell, but it takes a really like most ignorant, you know, news channel watchers would be like, no, I love this. Yeah, it's so beautiful. You know, I just can't wait for my team to win the Super Bowl and blah, blah, blah. Just like, what? Your team? You're talking about sports? Like, what the fuck? Anyways, like, Nobody's like conscious, really. Like a lot of people, man. After a, a lifetime of seeing it, too, you just get to a point. You give up. You give up on these fucking people. It's like, look, there's just something super wrong there that I can't fix. I love psychology. I fucking love psychology. It's like my favorite natural uh, uh, interest. This psychology, the way people behave, and all that. So. I've been into this subject for 20 years of my life. Like, I love that shit. And I just, even I got that point. It's like, you're broken. You're an NPC. There's something wrong. Like, there's just something wrong. You are the patient that came in that was unfixable. That's how I look at NPCs now. It's like, or these unawoken, sort of driven by monotony sort of driven by the slave system boring unthinking low-level entities i don't know what to call them they look like humans they behave like humans they act with emotions they get up they go to work they even have kids sometimes they have parents uh, every time are they really some sort of other entity that doesn't have a soul just a sort of auto drone of the matrix system if they are is there a way that we could prove it and find out who all the npcs are and all the fucking sold humans can come together how do, is there a way to sense somebody's aura and then if they all had auras but they were still just so dumb then how do we explain that is it really just that level of stupidity and naivety i think so i really just think it's stupidity and naivety i don't think it's more complicated than that i mean it seems very if you're the conscious one and you're looking at it from the outside and you're like, what's going on with you people? You really think those are contrails? Like, don't you remember what contrails look like? I mean, every once in a while, you'll still see one. There, there'll still be a jet producing a contrail flying super high. They still look the same way they used to. They still follow the jet about an inch behind it or a quarter inch, whatever you want to say, as it travels. Because contrails are still made up of ice crystals and they still dissipate. So the, the trail only looks so long because the, the rest of it that you were seeing a few seconds ago has now dissipated. Contrails don't fucking just sit in the sky for fucking eight hours in the hot Florida weather when it's really hot on Florida. Like you could cook an egg on the hood of your fucking car yet. These things just sit in the sky and turn into cloud. Like, can we go back to logic? The whole realm's contaminated. Like I really think it's so far gone. I mean, we literally, and it's weird. It's like, because we're in the simulation while it's happening, right? We're aware it's happening. And then you have the unawoken while it's happening. Like, So you're in a reality where there's an evil entity. I don't know if it's evil rich people that want to reduce the pop. I don't know what it is. But literally in the process of poisoning and killing us. <laughs> like right short of coming to our houses and telling us open door and 
spraying some mist in our face that ugh, makes us die right there. They're like in the process of spraying us in the air, uh, poisoning us in the water, poisoning us in the food, right in our faces. It's happening. And like, people still don't see it. You can say, well, they must be an NPC. What's wrong with how? How don't they see it? I mean, they, they haven't seen like all the weird chemicals in their food. They haven't like, they haven't turned around their Heinz ketchup bottle and looked at all that weird shit. They haven't turned around their, any bottle really. They, nowadays, you gotta, if, you, if you're a bottle turn arounder or nowadays a scanner, if you have certain apps, you, you know damn well 95% of this shit on American shelves is full of harmful chemicals. What is this? We're literally in the rat trap. Now it's happening to us. All our cheese is contaminated. And we're going, yes, this is the greatest country in the world. It's like, bro, if you're still saying that? You're, you are an NPC. What, is, what are you then? You're not a human. What's going on? You're an aspect of the matrix. I don't know what to call it. Uh, such a comfort zone finder that you... Are you, your existence is sort of the physical manifestation of a limiting factor on the growth of human consciousness. Like you shouldn't exist. Like you need to go with your little comfort zone, find that and keep your opinion in a corner somewhere and let human consciousness grow. Cause if we fall on your opinions, we're going to be stuck in this fucking, uh, let's just ignore reality state forever. And we're never going to go anywhere, progress or evolve in this realm. We are evolving, but it's happening in goddamn molasses. I'm going to stop this and reset it, guys, because uh, I do got to do 30 minute things. I actually like the way my beard looks after I wake up because it's kind of like mush and it looks just like a solid ass beard. If I brush this bitch out, bro, I'll, I'll walk around looking like Osama bin Laden up in this motherfucker, but uh, it's definitely gotten serious. The big, thick beard now. <laughs> but, um, it's growing on me, man. I like it. But uh, anyways, what are we talking about? Probably some dumb shit. What are we talking about? Some fucking uh, Matrix bullshit, probably. Uh, oh, shit, I didn't push the Did I push it? Why is that fucking thing blinking? I don't know. It's on. I don't know why the, the stop button's blinking. But it's saying we're recording, so I'm assuming we're recording. Okay, let's stop. Man, that thing's freaking me out over here, bro. Anyways, so... Uh, yeah, I, I don't understand this reality. I don't understand the whole unconscious NPC thing. It's just gotten so annoying at this point. It's like, oh, God, I gotta give up. Fuck this place and all its goddamn uh, unseen, unknowing, unaware, unconscious entities. Like, at this point, it's like, dude, I'm done suffering for these people. I've suffered enough. Like, I've suffered enough. I've pleaded and begged and tried to w wake up, wake up. You, you know, you guys can't see there's a make there's evil people in control. I've been doing this shit my whole life. And it's like, You guys are just NPCs to drive the sold ones crazy. That's all you are. You're or you're just super low level entities, low level consciousness, low level awareness, low level uh, intelligence, and that's no problem because you can have a low level intelligence and be revealed some truth and go, okay, that makes sense to me. You ain't gotta be a genius. There's something else really weird going on with you people. This isn't an intelligence thing. Because you got plenty of evidence to back up the shit that you don't believe is going on. You just refuse to look at it, believe it. You're living in your own world bubble. So it's sort of just like, fuck them then. I try to help them. You've had people your whole life who existed waving fucking red flags at every possible human event that ever happened. Saying something ain't adding up here. And you, and okay, at this point, if you ain't woke, then uh, awoken, to, at least awoken to... Your go the people in control of you are demonically evil fucking psychopaths. If you ain't at least aw awake to that, what the fuck's going on with you? Like, for real? Were you, were you just like a little bitch or something? Like, really, what's going on with you, dude? I mean, like, you need like a chest bump or something? You need like a manly slap in the fucking face? What's wrong with you? And you're going to take your ignorant little fucking self-personal bubble and then go and have kids and bring them into a realm? That they might find out is total hell, but because dad lived in his own little fucking bubble, now they're stuck here because this fucking retard thought I would join his bubble and his all del delusions. And most kids do. Most kids are completely brainwashed by their parents to live in their little world bubbles. Parents do it. Parents actually become the first predator in a kid's life if they're not aware of it happening.
But um, I would say if you wanted your kid to stay the essence, uh, the purest essence that it ever was, don't indoctrinate it with your ideas and beliefs. There's nothing wrong with telling your kid the difference between right and wrong, but don't put your religion on them. Don't put your little weird beliefs. You can tell them what you think, but let them be who the fuck they're supposed to be. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, it is a fucking dookie boy around me. <laughs> there really ain't a, I wish I could say some cool shit. Uh, okay. Well, I guess, like I said, I've got an optimism to me that I don't know why it's there. Uh, maybe my avatars attempts at finding a mental comfort zone, but I really do feel like something great is about to happen. I don't know what it is. I have no idea, but I really feel like something great's about to happen. People are talking about like this, uh, are worried about this eclipse coming up or whatever. Like, you guys are worried about it? It's funny now because I don't fall for the trick no more. So, like, this is the way I was pre-programmed or pre-scripted before to react to paranormal activities. Like, if I see, let's say, a shadow figure or feel a shadow presence, instead of now, I focus at it. I go for them. Like, come here, little creature, where you at? He said, I don't run anymore. But when I try to focus on them, they run away. It's like, oh, your tactic of scaring me didn't work. Like, I, I, when you showed up, instead of doing the way I was programmed or scripted in the movie to go, oh, and, and, and uh, whatever people, oh, pull the blankets up, oh, like, like this cotton wool blanket's going to protect you from the demon or something. <laughs> it's like this blanket's the, the physical par barrier that's going to protect you from Jason's machete. <laughs> like, but anyways, uh, <clears throat> when you get excited by their friends, like, oh, come here, little creature. They just run away. Like, what were you trying to do? Scare me? Like, what are you trying to do? So it's like um, there is a sort of consciousness development thing going on here, but it's a very rough school, and you've got to sort of be a like a really different type of person for it to even work on you, <laughs> like for you to even be aware of it happening. Uh, I sort of lean into my fears now, like because I see fear, just like love, as a great tool to control me. If I fear, okay. So the mind virus will put thoughts in your mind to make you fear things to, man, to manipulate your maneuver, in my opinion. If you're not fearful, or you sort of embrace things that happen, it's not working on you. <laughs> if you're not fearful, so what do you fear? Uh, for me, I really should delve more into hallucinogens. Uh, they scare the shit out of me. They scare the shit out of me, to be honest. I'm not that scared of the shit out of me. Like, I, I definitely enter a positive state before I take any of them. I don't go into them like I'm by myself. I use them introspectively if I am using them. But I'll be honest, there's a healthy fear there. Uh, the worst experience I ever had in my life was a bad trip when I was so I mean, the worst experience I ever had in my life. I always say that it was a bad one. It was a bad one, and it had a huge effect on me. And and uh, for years, for years, I suffered with like social anxiety disorder. Like uh, I would be very nervous around people, blah, blah, blah. Looking back in hindsight, like a lot of these things molded me into who I am too. Like I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't go through all these weird life experiences. So I'm sort of, start, sort of lately starting to appreciate a lot of the shit that I went through, even though it was suffering. I understand that it did sort of toughen me up to, to be who I need to be, to be who I wanted to be, if that makes sense. So I sort of appreciate these things now. It's uh, I know it doesn't make sense, but um, anyways, I had a point to make and I lost my train of thought, but it is what it is. It's, it's a sort of rant anyways. But um, you would think if something could happen in reality that fixed reality or fixed our current like monetary slave state that we're in, of narcissism and selfish behavior promotion, it would have been done by now. Like somebody would have, it would have been like Bob Marley or Tupac or uh, some super loud voice, super loud voice would have said, let's come together, enough's enough. Like I'm sick of living in fear under tyrannical war pigs that are obsessed with 
technologies that control and suppress and harm human beings instead of technologies that heal and boost and promote healthiness and I just don't want to be a part of the system. Do you guys still want to be a part of this system? Where is the Joe Rogan or that? There's just the, somebody that's like, enough's enough. Look, I'm a billionaire. I'm buying a, haunt, a thousand acres over here and whatever. I'm going to pay the, the best growers, whatever. We're going to start. And if you just want to be a part of a civilization that's not a part of this system, I think very quickly people would find out that the system's totally tyrannical, mafioso, and would find ways to poison and destroy and corrupt and manipulate the information and damage these people and their successful civil Like It would be so super obvious to the mainstream NPCs. They would be told, no, those people were over there and they were a bunch of meth heads and they were eating baby brains and they're evil and they were doing this and that. We had to kill them. And they'll go, okay, and they'll go to channel, uh, you know, Go from channel 10 to channel 11 to watch uh, The Simpsons. And I think most of them know that, right? Maybe that's why they don't. Like, where are the billion? Like, they're just the good people in reality. Like, we talk about it a lot, but man, we really don't be about it a lot. Every goddamn donation you make, you're afraid to make the motherfucker because you don't really know where the money's going. And every time you hear about where the money goes in these things, it's always some goddamn horror story. It's like, well, the kids actually get 0.1% of the money. The rest goes to that guy owning his Mercedes. It's like, I hate this reality. You're all disgusting demons. I hate all of you. I hope you all really, I really do hope Christianity's real only so you motherfuckers can burn in hell. I hate you low-level demons with my whole heart. I hate you all so bad. I, I, would, I would do unthinkable things that would normally make my stomach curl, and I would go home and sleep like a baby. You people are so disgusting. I hate you all. I hate you all. You're all so evil and disgusting and gross. You're, you're all just gross to me. If I can cast any spell, it's to remove you fucking low-level entities from my existence. But anyways, uh, like the government that gets tr trillions of dollars over the last few decades, like doesn't have a system implemented where leftover foods instantly get taken, flash frozen, delivered to people that need them. Do you know how much food we throw away every day just because it went bad and nobody ate it? You know, they make, they got their quota of making a, uh, uh, six, uh, 600 donuts in the morning and at the end of the day they pack them up but on day two day three well those donuts ain't that good no more they end up throwing away fucking 50 or 100 donuts they say we throw away 40 percent of our food every every day or it was just the last day that those green frozen green beans were going to be on the shelf they just throw it away. it's like there's no system implemented that goes oh no these green beans are now three days late on the shelf by tomorrow morning, they'll already be in some sort of kitchen's stew being cooked for people that don't have food. Guys, where's Eddie? <laughs> Guys, where's anything for humanity? Like you see, oh, no, they help people pay welfare like they promote paying for broken homes that's not for humanity that degrades humanity where's anything for us ever where's anything for us ever there's a they and what do they do they go to the moon did you ever go to the moon then they showed you cartoons and you went okay take another 20 million next year these are literally low-level mafiosos taking advantage of humanity. Low-level criminals, liars, producing paintings and Photoshop images and just banking on the fact that humanity is so naive that they would just believe it. And they get away with it every day, every second of every day. There's never been a judge, jury, or executioner that went, okay, I've now seen these 
moon landing videos. I've now analyzed them. I've found you all to be fake. You are all now under arrest. Goodbye. You're all going to be executed in front of humanity for crimes against humanities and lies. If them never getting caught doesn't show you that every single one of them is a part of the matrix system and that's impossible, and that's impossible, I don't know what to say to you. Uh, one sec, guys. But yeah, guys, as far as the system goes, the system continues to get away with um, shit that's impossible to get away with on a daily basis, on a level that's ridiculous every day on a daily basis. It's like, uh, huh, that's an interesting <clears throat> experience, man. Uh, how is this reality possible? Like, um, why isn't the logical, good-hearted, kind, normal... Uh, leader, the common thing, and the weird, bizarre, creepy, strange, power-hungry uh, ends up with more money than they ever should have as a politician, like, psychopath. It's like, works out for them every time. Like, So, this reality it promotes evil. It wants you to behave evilly. <laughs> um, if you do things, it'll even work out for you. And if you're as crazy as I am, you believe that there are extra dimensional beings that sort of want this to all happen and they're, they'll work for you too. Um, I don't know if they're pre-programmed or pre-scripted to behave that way, but <clears throat> there's no shortage of degenerates in humanity to take control of for the mind virus, to use them in places of power, to promote all kinds of stupid shit because they have absolutely zero fucks given for any other human other than themselves. If they did, they wouldn't be able to live with themselves based on what they're observably doing on a daily basis. These people are narcissistic psychopaths. They wouldn't be in a place of power if they weren't. They wouldn't be in a place of power if they weren't. Um, is it ever going to be enough enough? Are Americans or humanity, whatever you want to call it, ever going to say just enough's enough? We're done. Like, we're not playing your guys' games anymore. We're just done, and we're not playing your guys' games anymore. We're no longer going to go to war with other versions of ourselves because we're emotional about something that happened. <clears throat> we're no longer going to commit acts on other versions of ourselves that would promote wars or violence. We're no longer going to look at other aspects of ourselves as other aspects of ourselves. When the fuck is humanity going to grow up? You low-level, pathetic, monetarily driven degenerates keep hum keeping humanity in a low-level state. I hope you things burn forever. You will never see the light. You're probably incapable of seeing the light. If you ever had any in you to begin with, you fucking demons. Uh, unbelievable. Just unbelievable how low level you entities are actually willing to go for the things you want in life. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. I could talk to demons for the next fucking 10 hours and still not vent enough. Still not feel any satisfaction. No, I, I know I get some satisfaction venting about these fucking observable demons, but there'll be more later. They'll be more packed up in the reservoir to steam out tomorrow and the day after and the day after that. It appears I'm just an entity that absorbs the world's sufferings and negativities on its shoulders because it was pre-scripted, pre-programmed, or pre-brainwashed to be an empathetic human being and actually care about the sufferings of others. Tomorrow I'll be mad again because I'm still in that same realm that causes sufferings on me and others. I don't like selling helplessness or whatever. It's like... Man, so I was like, we stopped fighting the fight uh, uh, two or three hundred years ago, and they just kept fighting. Like, they're too far ahead now. Like, they have, well, anyways, the, I don't want to sell fear porn and all this, but we still have the numbers. But we don't have the logic 
capability, ability to come together. I don't know if it's technology that keeps us all separated, full of hatred and segregated minds and racist minds and whatever other stupid minds, uh, sexism, uh, <clears throat> humanity is just low level. They're just not worth a shit. They're just like consciously on a level that's in fucking capable. It's like, man, I'm not, I ain't preaching shit, man. Do I really got to go and put my, my face in the corner of the screen and just go to a website like, you know, some low level human website to show you how humans behave on average? Um, I mean, I talk a lot of shit about the education system being an indoctrination system that's totally demonic and evil. But the truth is, when I see how uneducated people behave, they're even worse. One sec, guys. Hey, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up because, to be honest with you, uh, the last clip that was recorded was the day and a half ago, and I have no idea what the fuck I was even talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, and I'm about to make one on a simulation. Uh, catch you guys on the next one.